Hi guys and welcome back to another fantastic Napoleon Total War Online Battle. And today we have a clash between the combined forces of the Ottomans versus the combined forces of the French. Now let's get this underway with the army compositions. Of course the rules were max 4 lights, 2 artillery, no fixed and no unicorns. And as you can see, we have brought pretty, pretty standard Ottoman armies here. So this is my army on the left-hand side with six of the Nizam i Kedit infantry. Um, three of the Nizam i Kedit lights. I think it's Nizam i right? Someone let me know down in the description down below. Two of the glorious Silatar Guard. Look at these boys. Absolutely fantastic units. And seven... I believe seven. Seven of the mounted Nizam Ikeni. So rifle troops. And over here on the right hand side, Carl has one of the. Sorry, I've got a howitzer as well. So we got one howitzer, one howitzer between us. Carl has um, six of the mounted Nizam Ikedits. He has ten of the Nizam Ikedit infantry. He has three of the lights, very much like me, so pretty similar armies, and that's it. We're both led by standard generals. And then across here on the left-hand side, we have the French player opposite me, which is four of the chasseurs. He has two six-pounder horse artillery. He has um, six of the standard fusiliers of the line, two of the glorious old guard. Here they are, the the real boys in the battle, one of the militia, and three chasseurs et cheval, led by a general staff. Now over here on the right-hand side, we have two six-inch howitzers, fantastic, fantastic artillery piece, four of the lovely Swiss foot, one, uh, two of the old guards, fantastic units, two of the fusiliers of the line, and for his lights, I believe he has one chasseur, one of the 6th Regiment d'Infanterie Légère, and he has one or two of the Voltigeurs. He also has two units of the Chevaux Légère Lancers, and one of the 7th Regiment of Chevaux, Le Ver, Cheven, Chevaux Légère Lanciers, <laughs> which is a, a more elite Lancer unit. And as you can see, things are popping off already. Carl has his mounted Nizami Kedit ready to try and take out those howitzers because he knows that they are going to be brutal in this battle. And of course, this guy is actually not led by a standard general, standard Marshal Sult. So, let's press play and get this battle underway. And as you can see, a great charge coming from the Ottoman troops as they come over the hill because he left his lights out exposed on this side. What all the while uh, Carl is trying to get at that artillery it is a hard job to try and get at that artillery. As you can see, we are bringing the cavalry swarm across and over the hill, ready to shred these boys. And they go flying. Look at that. Fantastic charge. Absolutely brutal. He is bringing his cavalry in though as well. So we are going to have to, uh, as my howitzer, is that my howitzer? Yeah, my howitzer sets off firing. You can see. So we got rid of all his lights. Decided to try and get rid of some of the cavalry. But he is bringing his infantry up to try and, you know, defend the position. And we have brought our infantry up to the top of the hill. And of course, this map is Prussian Hills, guys. So I'm not sure why the Ottomans are fighting on the Prussian Hills against the French. But... Maybe they won that Siege of Vienna in this alternative universe, huh? And here we come. Just trying to shred them a bit more. But you can't really see much what's going in here. But it is a massive, massive cavalry fight, as you can see, guys. And the chasseurs are actually holding up pretty well. I was just worried about him bringing his troops up. And as you can see, they are firing into us. Um, but we managed to get these mounted rifles around. And I wanted to go after this general staff. As you can see, that is managing to happen. We're getting after them. And I wanted to kill that general as quick as we could. Our men are running, sir. But as you can see, some of my cavalry 
starting to uh, starting to rout. Not very good morale, so I wanted to bring them back out. And we brought these guys forward to try and cover the lights. But as you can see, he peels off as well, uh, which was something that we both needed to do, really. We both knew that this situation was not going to get much better. Um, but this mounted Ke Nizam Kedit regiment uh, didn't manage to kill the general, did manage to take a few down. Now let's look over what's happening over this side. And as you can see, the howitzers on this side are doing some damage. Shredding some of these boys. These guys getting... Sh look at that howitzer shot there, right in the middle of them. Shredding them. But it's basically just a bit of a standoff at this point. Whereas over this side, we are starting to see some serious, serious fighting. And as you can see, I managed to get my mounted cat... Nizam Kedit into his cannons and get rid of them before they could do any more damage. This rifle is going to get stuck on this side, but for me, that's not really a problem. I wasn't too bothered by that. And we do have some lovely flanking troops around here. You can't even see them in the trees, but the Silatar Guard ready to go as the battle rages. So now it's a bit of an infantry standoff, and of course, I know... He is the French, so he definitely has better quality line infantry than me. But I still have a lot of cavalry. A lot of cavalry left, ready to do some damage. And a lot of lights. His lights are all gone. Now, as you can see, Carl is pushing up on this side, ready to fire into the troops. Ready to do some damage. And he's managing to flank around this side, which is causing this French player some consternation. But here they go. Here come the Chaveau Leger Lancers. Watch out for these boys. And the mounted Kedit's not even firing. Does manage to get into square in time. But look at that. Oh my days. The how it says. I know he said to me. Ah yes. The Silatar Guard. Going in ham on that general. We brought them around for a little sneak attack. And we tried to get rid of the Chasseur à Cheval. So that we had cavalry dominance once again. And we are pushing hard with our infantry on this side. And over here, Carl is continuing to push. Do some really good work against a much more elite French, French army. But I remember him saying to me, like, these howitzers were just an absolute nightmare. And they were doing some serious damage to his troops, as you can see. And howitzers are really, 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 really overpowered, it seems, in this game. Just because if they do manage to kill you... They manage to take out a lot of troops if they do hit a unit formation. It takes out a lot of troops. Uh, where is his old guard? And as you can see, he has his old guard in the line. Not getting shot too much. So doing some really good damage for us down here. But I was cycling in my troops. Cycling in my cavalry. To try and charge them, to disrupt them. While bringing my troops down the hill to shoot. So why are these guys shooting? That's what I want to know. Interesting. But yeah, as you can see, the cavalry was starting to run. And I did manage to have sort of cavalry dominance on this flank. Ah, uh, look at this. Some great volleys going in there, boys. I was, why aren't these guys firing? Maybe they were just out of range? No, yeah, they're, I'm assuming they were out of range because they definitely are on fire at will. So I should have brought these guys forward. That was a bit of a mistake on my part. And over here, the battle still rages on. And as you can see, his cavalry is starting to win out. So getting rid of those howitzers is going to be a big problem. And look at these howitzers just shredding at this range. Being really accurate. And just shredding. Shredding some of this infantry. And because I only had one howitzer and it was all the way back here. We really didn't have a response. But here comes another cavalry charge on the left flank boys. And look at the Silatar guard. Ready to do what damage they can. They are pretty damaged already by now. But... Wanting to take some take some troops out. And unfortunately, we get caught in the middle of two squares. But while he's doing that, we run the mounted Nizam Kedit down to try and catch him out again. And we do manage to do that. We get into those troops before they can really form square, which is excellent for us. And the Silatar Guard really just caught in the middle now, which was a bit of a problem for us. But as the howitzer rains down... Rains down on my own troops, which is a problem. And look at this battle over here. Look at the lines of dead. Oh, Jesus. That might be the thumbnail. 
These howitzers were so accurate. Look at them go. And unfortunately, the howitzers have really done their damage on this flank. Really, really done some damage on this flank. And here come the rest of the Ottoman troops charging down the hill to try and take out the rest of these old guard. I knew he had a really good unit of old guard left. So I knew that was going to be an issue. But we do have some cavalry left. Not a huge amount. But we've only had... I only had six, six units of infantry, which was, you know, not very much. <laughs> At this point, he charges in. But my howitzer's even targeting my own troops. Over here, you can see the French player winning out just basically because those howitzers were starting to shred. Look at these. Look at the amount of dead because of these howitzer craters. And the thing with the howitzer is it just really, really reduces morale when the troops get hit by it. But Carl doing a very good job of holding off this French troop and trying to damage him as much as possible. Even against the odds of the howitzers. But as you can see, my general's close by to these boys. And these boys have lost their general as fighting goes on in the forest. These old guards now starting to feel the pain. Starting to get shot a bit better than what they were before. And we still have this... We did have a unit in reserve, but I believe it's in the battle now. And as you can see, he's firing down into the battlefield. And we brought our general in to try and get rid of these fusiliers and do some damage. And the mounted Nizam K'd it. And this was while the French French player is starting to bring some more troops across and an old guard. And I knew I couldn't stand up to that old guard if that old guard got involved in the battle. So we needed to do something drastic. Luckily, we force him into square inside the hill, inside the uh, forest, which is really good for us because that means we can get some good shots off while he can't. So that was a decent, decent fight for us. But we are really, really starting to get shredded. Look at look at the amount of troops we're down to. 50 in this unit. Less than 50. 36 here. And I brought my Nizam Kadit. Rifles try and get rid of this old guy. But luckily, he well, luckily for him, he microed well enough. And this old guard has really been the sticking point. Really been the sticking point. That is what has kind of shredded us. Because we could not deal with them. At all, really. They were just too good. They're just too good a unit. Too good at firing. Too good in melee. Um, too good morale. Like, they're really hard to deal with. And then over here, you can see... Carl is uh, fighting a slow retreat. Try and get back. Try and link up so we can uh, fight them again. But he is using... This French player is using his cavalry and his infantry to really good effect. And uh, trying to get rid of some of these Nizam Kadit units. But the howitzers are still in on the battle and still shredding the troops. Look at this. And it is really, really tough over there, Carl, because of those howitzers. We can see that old guard running away, running from the fight. And I believe that is everyone on this side of the battlefield taken care of. As these guys run from the battle. Uh, at this point, I was pretty much down to the absolute last reserves. And over here, Carl is fighting away, fighting these fusiliers. Getting some good shots in. But as you can see, the howitzers are just too deadly. Look at that. Some howitzers being crazy good. I'm not going to lie. But he manages to get rid of this cavalry unit, which is excellent. And this fusilier nearly routing. So at this point, he's just trying to do as much damage as he can to this unit. And I am marching back over the hill to try and join my howitzer. In battle. Look at that. Oh, it just misses. I don't think it got anyone there, which is unfortunate. But yeah, these poor troops getting bombarded from all directions. Absolutely sickening to see. But yeah, fantastic battle so far. Been very fun. Really, really tough all across the hillside. 
Um, I probably, if we're looking back at the battle, could have been a bit more conservative with my horsemen and probably saved a few for later. Those Silatar Guard, I did lose them sillily. They did manage to take out their general and their cav, which was, you know... So that was a decent trade-off, but at the same time... At the same time, you know, it was a decent trade-off, but at the same time, I could have been slightly better with them. My howitzer shots are trying to come in and put the pain down, but they're just not going to be enough. Because there isn't that much infantry left over here. And his howitzers continue to rain their fire down on Carl, which is a very, very tough situation to be in. Because it just reduces morale so much. Look, well, they're, they're frightened by the enemy unit, which is that old guard there. But the howitzer shots will not be helping. Here they go. And as you can see, they just routed just from the presence of the old guard there. And this old guard's pretty decent. Oh, God. Look at that. Why do the units do this sometimes in Napoleon, where you press charge and they run backwards? It's very weird. Unless he was trying to charge them, I'm not sure. But those howitzer shots... Just really being the killer blow over here. And as you can see, look at the fields of dead once again on the battlefield. Over on this hillside and down here. Look at these French troops. And the craters of howitzer shot that has done huge damage. And you can see this is... Because these guys aren't in a line, this is probably howitzer damage. So you can see how many troops there here, here were killed by those howitzers. Like, it's just an obscene amount. They were so overpowered. Um, and at this point, both of us were kind of in a bit of a stalemate. So we're going to play fast forward it. I was going to my howitzer. He was going to his. But seeing as he had, um, I think, seven howitzers still in operation, there is no way I was going to go near those howitzers at all. Um so I really just wanted to set around my own howitzers. But yes, as you can see, there's nothing. I've got nothing left. I've got absolutely nothing left. He does have this Swiss foot chasing down some of these infantry. And I probably should have gone and dealt with that. But unfortunately, I didn't. And as you can see, the French troops are coming. Do manage to get some howitzer shots. But I don't believe this howitzer is as accurate as the French ones. And you're going to see that it really doesn't get that many good shots in. Compared to those French ones that were absolutely deadly accurate. Does my, I think the my, my, my range was about here. So that's why we're not targeting the old guard yet. But we will start targeting them as soon as we can. And the Swiss foot comes back from the battle. Try and do some damage to us. But he still has a decent amount of troops. Uh, one old guard, 147. And this old guard, 125. So I know it's pretty much up at this point. There's not much I can do against such reckless hate. <laughs> Come on. And he's charging in his 6-inch howitzers, which is actually a good idea. So, yeah, an excellent battle so far. Really, really tactical. Really good fun. Did manage to kind of clean up this guy on the left, but I just didn't have enough left. And I probably should have taken a couple more infantry regiments rather than just six. Which is surprising, seen as one, two, three, four. All six are still on the battlefield. I think that's owed to the fact that the general still exists. The general's still okay. My howitzers aren't doing as much damage as his, as you can see. A couple of kills each howitzer shot. Which is not ideal. But here we go. Here comes the final charge of the French. And the final defence of the Ottomans. Come on boys. Get ready to fire. Here they go. Good firing boys. But the old guard is there. Very, very strong troop. That Swiss foot... Ah, uh, you can see the Nizam Kedit. They were on 90. They're already getting shredded. And I was trying to get on canister shot. But it wasn't really working. Because you can see most of the troops are over here. 
We try to flank around this way to try and get rid of this old guard. But as you can see, he's going to charge his infantry in and route this unit, which was one of the units that had the most troops left. So it's not good for us. But I decided to charge my general in, try and put them in square and get these guys around to try and fight. But as you can see, my whole right flank is just fading away into non-existence. <laughs> and my howitzers are not angled enough to get cannons to shot off at these boys. But we are doing some good damage over this side. He's still in square. So we can shoot away at him and try and get rid of that damn old guard. One of the most brutal units once again. And I inspired this unit to try and get them to fight even harder. But, of course, 114 Old Guard versus 87 Nizam Kadit. Not going to be ideal, is it? And you can see this Old Guard kind of got low on morale. So we should have probably charged in at that point. Uh, but I wasn't sure that my troops were going to even hold long enough for that. And I tried to charge these boys in. Try and get rid of some of this Old Guard. But 114 of these boys left is not going to be ideal. And with that, these guys rout on the left-hand side, which was very unfortunate. And the final charge of the Ottomans on the Prussian hills is going to be done by the general that survived the whole way through the battlefield. Are you proud of me, guys? I managed to get a general to survive the whole battle. I don't think I've, I've done that in any of my battles so far. I mean, well, when I say survive the whole way through the battle uh like he will die but survive to the very end anyway come on boys get that charge in oh what a beautiful charge that was anyway absolutely shredding this unit but of course it is the old guard so once they actually get into melee they are going to be fantastically good so what a good battle anyway fantastic battle very good fun very good fun I really needed to try and get some canister shot off. But as you can see, we're just not at the right angle. And he does manage to get his old guard in. We do manage to get a couple of shots of canister shot off. But that is it. And yeah, the final, the final countdown is happening. The final melee. The glorious melee of the general. Come on, General, let's go. But he decides he's had enough and it's time to run. And in, in fact, he does survive then. He survived the whole way. Yes, come on. Ah, But as you can see, pretty much mirrored um, kills apart from this guy. Getting 1,900 kills, which was really, really good. Um, 1,675 for me, 1,300 for me and Carl. So... Pretty decent kills there, but we did come with a lot more troops in general. Um, and Beetle getting 1,300 kills. So a really, you know, evenly matched battle overall. Very evenly matched, but very fun. But those howitzers made the difference. And as you can see, some of these... I am very impressed by these Nizam Kader infantry, I'm not going to lie. 249, 187, 180, 146, 146... That's just crazy. Like, they did amazing. Not so well, these guys. Zero? Really? 13 and 5? That is trash. But yeah. Some of the... And the Howitz is getting 90, which is actually pretty decent. Yeah, very good. And look at the Mounted Nizam Kadit doing well. So one unit didn't do very well at the Nizam Kadit. But I believe they were probably the ones that were up against the old guard. So, can it be understandable? Yeah, but yeah, they were very strong. So, if I had a couple more units of them rather than the mounted knees, I'm kid, it might have done a little bit better. But, that is it for this battle, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. I certainly did. It was fantastic. Really good fun. Hope you enjoyed. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps out the channel. Trying to grow the channel. So, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all again on the next video.